hey welcome back guys okay so let's do some uh, video uploading shall we okay so like i mentioned earlier video uploading is quite similar to image uploading just a few minor differences so let's see what we can edit before we attempt to upload a video as things are right now so what i will do is um, uh, there's this file that we're using to upload, which is uh, it's called image change image, is it? Oh no, that was for change image. Is that the one? Okay, so let me go to my profile.php. It does pay to rehearse this stuff before recording but I tend not to rehearse anything because I want to experience how it's like to code for the first time anyway uh, where are we here all right so if this uh, post is set so it's going to come here when we add a post right and then it's going to say create a post and then it to give me the post thing and then it to give me the files thingy so my file the video file is going to be inside this one so which means the create post is the guy to look for so let's go to our classes and look for the because this is the post class of course there we go and create post right there and we have data we have files so everything looks uh, great does not eat yes yes so here uh, where we have the allowed file types we just need to add uh, provision for a video slash mp4 now the issue is um, if, for example, you don't know the file type that you want to upload, you don't know what um, what the type is, so you can write it here. The same way I've written the video slash mp4. It's a very easy thing to do. All you have to do is let's just show what files contains, right? And then let's do a, a die right there. Mm -hmm. So that we don't create anything. We just want to see what's contained in the file. So I'll hit browse here and then I'll go to my desktop. I have a video here which I created. Uh, I do create animations sometimes. I created this for a client. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so when I hit post, what you get is this. See, an array and the file details. And what do you know? There's a type right there and it's called video slash mp4 that's exactly how you know what the type is so that has served its purpose and I'll simply add it there you see it's exactly the same okay so the size there error no errors very good so we've dealt with that issue and it's going to be allowed to pass however when we get to this point uh, we're going to have uh, problems because at this point here we need to resize an image yes after moving the upload file this is going to happen whether we uh, we are dealing with a video or an image uh, yeah we can leave that generate but and then move the file but we cannot resize a non image okay so we have to fix that problem now here we are adding a .jpeg at the end of the, um, the file name because we are expecting everything to be a jpeg but um, this could be mp4 right so we have to find another way to get the file extension from the original file so this file name where is that file name right here that's the one that contains the original file name so i want to get the um, what's this the file extension yes so let me do some tests here 
I am going to die again here so that I don't go any further than this. But uh, there's something called file info. So I'll say, uh, mixing uh, JavaScript there. So I'll say file, uh, I don't know, I'll call it file info after the function itself is equal to file info. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be a function, but it's not responding. So let me do this show file info like that. I don't know why this is not showing. It's supposed to be file info. But you know, this is why we have Google, don't we? File info php let's google that shall we my network is white okay so there's file info after all there so let's see what it does on php.net mm -hmm. so file information introduction uh wait a minute this is not what i'm looking for wait 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 Okay, let me click on the introduction. Let's see where that takes me. Ah, this is utterly ridiculous. What is file info PHP extension? Okay, so it's actually a PHP extension. So you have to make sure that uh, you go to your um, ZAMP, yes, or your control panel there, and you get the, oh, wrong button there sorry config uh, php.ini let's see if the extension exists so i just want to find all the extension modules here where are they okay so there they are so all these are extensions so make sure that uh, the file info right here extension does not have a semicolon at the very end here otherwise it won't work so extension file info should be activated so if you're activating it now once you close the file and save it you have to restart apache so stop it and start it again so it can take effect anyway uh php php.net has been completely useless here okay file info functions there we go Maybe that's the one right there. Wow, it's just uh, completely uh, unhelpful because this is not what I'm looking for. Fire info. Wow, great. Anyway, it's going to tell me if this is the wrong uh, function that I've uh, tried to run here. So I'm just going to refresh the page. Call to undefined function, file info. Wow, so I was actually wrong. So maybe there's an underscore here. Or is there? No, completely wrong. Okay, let me search differently. Let's see. PHP get file extension from path. What function do you use? Ah. My bad. This is uh, the problem with uh, this thing. It's path info. Sorry. My bad. Oh, there we go. So now I can see it as an italic. Okay. I don't know why I went to file info or something. Okay. I do like like uh, path info because I can add a. Okay. There we go. So I can go to this path info. Okay. So I was railing about uh, this uh, website for no reason. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking for here are the flags here. Uh, but first of all, before I even do that, so I'm, I'm simply uh, getting path info and saving it to this info um, variable. So path info of this path, the file that we've taken. What I'm trying to get is the file extension. But I don't want to do it manually, so let me refresh for a second here. And so you see, this is the array that I get. It tells me that there's no directory there. 
uh, because it's just a file name. The best name of the file is video.mp4. The extension is mp4. File name is video. So you can give uh, this function any uh, any path here. So it doesn't have to be anything special. It can be something like maybe I made something up like C uh, home. Uh, hey, my file dot JFK or something like this. Right? See. So it's going to dissect that if I refresh. You see now that it tells me the directory is this one. And then the best file name is this one. The extension is JFK. The file name is my file, you see. So that function does everything for us once we give it a path. So I'm just going to undo this. Now, once you get that path, the info is an array that contains uh, things like uh, extension, uh, file name, etc. So if you want to use those, uh, if you just want to get one directly, you can put a flag. So let's see what those flags are. Wait a minute. I think we're getting distracted here. There's one flag called path info extension there. So if you add this flag there, there is this comma like that then it won't return an array it will just return the file extension itself so which is uh, if I do that and refresh then I just get the file extension which is what I want in this case nothing else so I think I'll do it uh, this way so instead of info I'm just going to say extension short for ext like that and get that bam and then I'm going to remove all that. So when I come down here, what I will do, instead of putting .jpg, I will ask for the extension like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then add the extension here. So I will remove that and put a dot and put extension. That way, if it's JPEG or it's MP4, it doesn't matter. It will do it for me. Okay, so pretty good. Now here, I can use the same extension to determine whether to resize this image or not. So I'll say if extension is equal to JPEG, right? Now, what I want to make sure is that the file extension is, um, is a lower case. So I'm going to say ext is equal to string to lower extension like that just to make sure that it's lowercase because sometimes it can be uppercase so that we can prevent any misreadings here I'll say or because sometimes JPEG has an E there I don't know why but uh, that happens sometimes from personal experience I suffered at one point when I didn't know this I had to test over and over again only to find there was that okay so this will only happen if it's a JPEG and uh, that's it actually the selected image is not a valid type so maybe if you want you can use uh, instead of has image you can put has video etc etc that's uh, entirely up to you but let's leave has image for now to suffice and uh, that's about it I think everything else stays the same see how uh, easy that was so I may refresh and let me resend this. Okay, so I had zoomed in a, a bit there. So there we go. Now we have a post with a video. But as you can see, so many errors here. But do not be fiery. These errors are easy peasy to deal with. So we're going to do that in the next video.